For the last few months, I have been obsessed with using the app Planoly. This is basically the secret to having a visually enticing Instagram account. I'm Subi Zimmerman, and today I'm gonna teach you how you can schedule and plan every single post on Instagram. Scheduling Instagram posts is one of the best ways to save time and stay connected to your Instagram followers. But I believe that there is a healthy balance between posting in real time and scheduling your post to Instagram. When scheduling ahead of time, especially too far ahead, you risk the opportunity of spontaneously being part of trending stories or newsworthy posts and events that need to be posted in real time to get the most engagement, just like the dry bar did here. Because let's face it, if the dry bar posted this a week after the Oscars scheduling it, it wouldn't get the same type of engagement that it's gotten. Planoly is a tool where you can visually plan, manage, and schedule your Instagram posts, and I absolutely love it. What you're looking at now is my dashboard from the Instagram expert, and when I click on scheduled, you will see all the posts that I have scheduled using Planoly. And as you can see, this helps me maintain the aesthetics, the theme, the whole kind of vibe of what I'm trying to create visually when you're looking at my Instagram feed. So what's really important to note here is that when you're posting on Planoly, you can see not just each photo, but how they all line up. To the left of this are the photos that I've uploaded that I have not yet scheduled that I know will look good in the feed. You can look at all of them if you want to click here. You can view stories, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. But what I want to bring your attention to are the tabs in the top. So when you're on plan, this is what you see, and you see the calendar. You can look at the month, or you can look at the week of engagement. You can also discover using Planoly. So you can search certain hashtags to find content that you might want to use for user-generated content. You can also analyze your post and look at what is working what time of day, what type of post, and look at your engagement, which is awesome. And then you can see all the comments that you're having. And you can even leave comments back. So this can be your whole dashboard for interacting on Instagram, especially if you're someone who does not like being on the mobile or you can't see things as easily on the mobile as you can on the desktop. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually plan your post on Instagram. Okay, so I'm gonna click into the posts that are unscheduled, and I know from what my grid looks like that I need something with a little bit more white space and balance to schedule next. So I'm gonna go into my library of what I have here, and I could easily add new media, just like I showed you with stories. You can just click in and you can drop, go to your Dropbox folder or anywhere where you have your photos and add new media to the unscheduled post at any time. Okay, so I know I wanna have a little bit of white space next to my last post because it's very colorful and I think it needs some breathing space. So I'm gonna go into what I have unscheduled and find a post with some more um, space. And let's see which one works. Okay, hashtag love. All right, so I now can write my post right here and I can put, like I said, all my hashtags here up to 30. And what I like about Planoly is that it shows you not only when you're typing the hashtag which one you're using, but ones that you might want to be using. And you can look at the number of people that have used that hashtag to see which ones are most relevant for you, okay? You can see the remaining number of hashtags that you can use and the remaining number of at mentions. Again, you just tap on schedule to schedule your post and you save it. Once you've set a time to schedule your post, it will now show up as a scheduled post. As you can see, here it is. But you know what? I'm not loving the way that this looks on top of this post. So the beauty of Planoly is that you can X out, cancel out, 
and take it off the schedule post and you can go back to what's unscheduled and you can find one of those posts that makes sense to upload. While we're here, I just want to bring your attention to the fact that you can rearrange all those uploaded photos and plan your grid, which is awesome. I believe one of the hardest parts of making your Instagram feed look amazing is figuring out how to make all your individual posts look good beside each other. I want to bring your attention to the interface here on mobile. It's just as clean and beautiful as it is on the desktop. Across the top, you see your unscheduled and your scheduled post. Top left, that is where you see your stories. The ones that I just uploaded are right here. And you can continue adding to your story with the plus mark right here at the bottom. Tap that and find a story if you wanted to add to the one that you've created. So when a post is scheduled, you will get a notification right here on your mobile to push it to your Instagram. Let me show you what it looks like to do the Instagram stories on Planoly, which is now a new feature. It's so cool. So what I created for you guys is a folder on my desktop. I'm gonna just slide over. And I created this Planoly folder. I'm gonna upload my clips from my story that I did this morning. So I've already dropped and dragged the first one. So I'm gonna now move over number two through number seven. And I'm just gonna simply drag it right in, which is really cool that you can drop and drag. I love this. Or if you wanted to just add new story, you can do it this way. You can add new story. You can go to your Dropbox folder or you can go to your desktop and add from, or you can add from Google Drive. So I'm gonna go from my computer and just show you the interface this way. I have Planoly, we got one, two, three. So I'm gonna open up four, five, and six. And that's my whole story. So I'm gonna have my whole story right here in Planoly and I can schedule it. It's really cool, right? I can schedule the story, especially if you're someone who cannot be doing uh, the curation in real time. Or if you want to create the story, you have time in the morning and you don't wanna upload it for the next day because you know that your stories are only active for 24 hours. So within your story, you can also create a caption just like you would in Planoly. So write what you want to say in your story, scheduling your story, and then you can also put the date that you want this to go live, and then you can save the story. Really cool, right? But let me just show you that you just click on schedule and you schedule the time that you want the story to go live. I'm gonna click on 1045 and then you save the time and then it will be uploaded to your story. So you can enter a caption for each one and then you can save the whole story. You can drip it out throughout the day or you can have the story be scheduled all at once. Every business owner knows that time is money. So if you're looking to make better use of your time, consider using Planoly. Taking just 30 minutes to an hour, one day a week, to schedule your Instagram post for the whole week will make your life less stressful and save you so much time every day. But remember, those posts, those newsworthy posts, I suggest posting in the moment so that you don't miss out on engagement. For those of you that like scheduling your Instagram accounts, know that we also have a video um, explaining how to use Hootsuite and one of our other favorites, Later Media. What did you think? Are you a little excited now to start using Planoly? There is a link in the description below that you can check out. Also, be sure to grab my free Instagram strategy guide. It is waiting for you in the description below. And I'll see you on the next video.